to my channel. Please excuse the appearance. I look horrible. But my husband is at work and I decided to go ahead and start dinner. That way me and baby girl can have something to eat and he can have some when he gets home. Because it ain't going to be too much longer till he gets off work. So yes, I'm actually going to be recreating my friend Michelle's fiance's um, goulash. I believe it's her fiance. I believe it is. So, Michelle, if you're watching this, so sorry, girl, but I'm pretty sure that you guys are engaged. So, yeah. Um, but, yes, I'm going to recreate it with my own little twist because my husband does not like onions. Because um, he just don't. He has, like, a texture thing. So, um, I'm not going to be doing that part of the video like we've done with hers. But I will show you guys everything that you will need okay guys so please excuse my stove i have to clean it after this but first you will need a pot to put everything in once it's finished you will also need a pot to boil the um well cook your sausage in which is what i'm gonna do um with this one we are going to have the five cheese texas toast you will need sausage of your choice. This was the cheapest Walmart had. I've never had it, so I hope it's good. They didn't have no hot sausage, which I'm very upset about because I love hot sausage a lot better. But here is the sausage. Any macaroni of your choice. Um, we're using elbow macaroni. You will also need some tomato sauce. This is just the cheap Walmart tomato sauce. I got two cans because I didn't think one can would be enough. And another thing that's not shown here that you will need is a spoon to mix everything together and a strainer. I do not have a strainer, but I have a spoon with holes in it and hopefully that works. So let's go ahead and jump right on in. Okay, so first thing you're gonna do is put some water in your cooker and open up your macaronis. Um, I'm going to put the macaronis on first because that takes the longest. Um, I'm actually using a gas stove because that's what we have in our house. Um, I forgot to mention you will also need some vegetable oil or whatever oil you choose. I like to add just a little bit of this in our um, water when it's boiling to help the noodles not stick. So as you can see, I added in the oil. I'm going to also add in just a little bit of salt to help it boil as well. And once it starts boiling, I will get right back to you guys. Okay guys, so the water is boiling. If you hear my washer, I'm actually doing a TikTok. But I'm going to pour some macaroni in. However much macaroni is up to you. I've done a little over half of the box and I'm just going to let this cook. So now that I've let these cook just a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and get the flame started for the sausage. I'm just going to put it in this pot because this is the pot I'm going to mix everything together in. Going back in with that vegetable oil and just adding a little bit in there. I don't add a whole lot to my stuff because these are also non-stick skillets and they help bring out the grease and everything. So yeah, next I'm going to get my sausage and cut it open and place it in the container. Now that the sausage is in, where this is a gas stove, I honestly have my heat about on two because this thing honestly can really uh, cook things pretty fast. So what you're going to do is chop up your sausage. It chopped up a little bit. I do have a spoon of holes. Once it cooks a little bit more, I'm going to 
go ahead and chop it up more and I'm going to give my macaronis a little bit of a stir Now what I'm going to do with this is get a lid and put over top of it to help it actually cook a little bit faster. Yeah, I got my lid. Now I'm going to let that sit under there for probably about three to five minutes and I will come back and check on it. Alrighty guys, so the macaroni is all nice and cooked. So I'm honestly just going to turn it off and check on our sausage give it a good little chop and stir kinda just smash it. This would be really handy if I had a potato masher. My friend Michelle actually is the one that taught me that trick. It helps grind things up a little bit finer. And I don't have a potato masher, so a spoon with holes will have to work. <laughs> so I'm kind of just crushing it around, as you guys can see, and smashing it. Kind of just trying to grind it and chop it up. I'm going to place the lid back on and turn my heat up to about four now my macaroni is already done I would show you guys me draining it but like I said I don't have a strainer so it requires two hands so I will see you guys in a little bit so I'm checking on the sausage and it smells so good it is actually done. So I'm just going to turn it off and I'm going to drain my macaroni and place it in with the sausage. So I have the macaroni right here and in case you guys are wondering I did drain a little bit of the grease from the sausage. I may have cooked way too many noodles. It's starting to look that way. Now, I don't usually feed Haven sausage just yet, but because um, I don't know how the spices and stuff will do on her. I think that's enough. So there's a little bit of leftover noodles. I will probably season those up for her, and that's probably what she will have. Now I'm going to open the tomato sauce and pour that in. So like I told you all, I'm opening the tomato sauce. Poured one in. I'm going to give it a stir. See if I need to add the other one. don't think I'll need the other one. Now if you prefer to add the other one, of course you can. Haven will probably have some of the macaronis and tomato sauce. Now I'm actually going to turn my heat back on, put it on about three, and just kind of let this all cook together and mend together put my lid on it. Now, I said what I was having garlic bread, but I'm 
just making this until my husband gets home. That way he, does, he has fresh garlic bread when he eats his goulash. I prefer, like I said, to have onions in it. He hates onions, so therefore it's just sausage, sauce, and noodles. But, like I said, um, I am going to be having garlic bread, as you guys have seen. I will be sure to take a picture or video of it with the garlic bread. But, as of right now, I'm not making any garlic bread. I'm just having this. Because, like I said, a billion times, I want my husband to have fresh garlic bread. So, that's what I'm going to do there. When I let this cook a little bit and plate it, I will show you guys. Okay, guys, I don't know if you can hear me or not. But I'm checking on the goulash. And it is ready. Look how delicious. Now, I forgot to mention this, but we like to put um, Parmesan cheese. Um, this is actually a grated Italian blend. It's one third less fat than Parmesan cheese. But it's really good with some parm. And here is the final result. Looks delish. I'm going to make Haven a little bowl and kind of just feed her the noodles more than anything. I'm going to add a little piece of sausage extra in mine. Now my husband weighs some of this and some of it will go with him to work. This is what I'm going to give Haven. So yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!